So, ang total area is uh, 400 uh, plus square meters. Mga 400 lang ang ating farm. Uh, demo farm. The purpose of the demonstration is to determine whether by uh, supporting uh, an upland rice farm with uh, sufficient water if uh, the farmers could grow twice a year. So, ang gamit natin na Similia is uh, itong uh, uh, TH82 uh, Tatag Hybrid NSIC uh, 2013RC350H This is a hybrid rice uh, uh, variety uh, developed by uh, Seedworks produced in India no? uh, distributed by uh, Seedworks Philippines Meron ng trial to dati Uh, dry seeding umabot sila ng uh, 10 metric tons uh, in season so ito yung uh, ito yung land preparation inararo to plowed rotavator and then ngayon uh, leveling ng uh, soil Okay, so tapos na po yung leveling ng uh, lupa natin. Ang next na procedure is the uh, broadcasting of the seeds. And uh, ito yung ating mga experts sa pag-broadcast ng, ano, ng uh, palay. Uh, remember, this is an experimental farm. No? So uh, what is uh, established here uh, is that this is an upland area. We are going to use uh, the rain pipe system of irrigation, pressurized irrigation. We are using uh, a hybrid rice variety. Ang tawag sa hybrid rice is uh, TH82 or Tatag 82. And uh, ang gagamitin natin is uh, fertigation system. Meron tayong tanki doon. Doon natin ihahalo yung uh, ating ibabasal na abono. So ito yung ating uh, ibabasal. Uh, pagkatapos natin mag-broadcast, ihahalo natin ito sa tubig mamaya and then spray natin uh, broad, uh, no, uh, fertigation system. This is not as sophisticated as the Israeli model pero this is the best that we can do. No? So ang measurement na nito based on uh, the dilution of uh, high fur, no? growth enhancer, ang uh, uh, kwanto, uh, 22, 11, 9. No? Uh, at uh, ito po ay uh, uh, pwedeng i-dilute sa tubig. Okay, so uh, broadcast.
mga makapal yun, no? So, this is uh, 120th of an hectare, no? 3 kilo, uh, 6 kilograms, ah. okay na siguro yun. Okay, so ngayon, uh, ilalatag na natin yung uh, rain pipe. Nano holes, no? Uh, yung mga nano perforations. At uh, maliliit, parang uh, sinlaki ng butas ng karayom. Uh, doon dadaan yung tubig. Uh, kapag uh, tinulak siya ng pressure ng uh, pressure pump doon, galing sa tanke, uh, yun yung uh, itutulak uh, ng uh, pressure pump. And from there, ay eh, uh, lalabas yung tubig. Pero bago natin gawin yun, uh, ihahalo muna natin yung uh, fertilizer. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin, actually hindi talaga ito yung sistema ng fertigation. Uh, sariling uh, gawa na lang natin to tayo na lang ang uh, nagmixing nito we are mixing uh, uh, three uh, liters no of uh, liquid fertilizer sa 1000 liters ng tubig and uh, eto ay eh, uh, amiyang konti ikutin natin yan no kukutawin sa Cebuano pa we will mix it no we will stir it and uh, pagkatapos na ma-stir yan ay eh, uh, bubuksan natin yung ating uh, irrigation no? so ito yung sarili nating style na fertigation <laughs> actually sa Israel system uh, automatic to Me measured talaga no yung atin uh, sabi nung Cebuano eh mata-mata lang ni eh, no taka uh, taka lang no so uh, we are uh, making our own experiment. Oh, sige Mark, kutaw. Okay. So since hindi naman ganun kamoderno yung ating uh, fertigation system, Mano-mano lang muna to. Nilagyan natin ng uh, liquid fertilizer at ngayon daw wala tayong uh, equipment to mix it. Mano-mano uh, lang muna yung mixing. Okay? So 1,000 liters uh, with uh, 3 liters of uh, liquid fertilizer. N is 29. Uh, P is uh, what? 11 ang P. Ang uh, K is 9. So uh, that's the formulation. Okay? So, uh, ready na po yung ating uh, irrigation system doon. Uh, Mark, paki-open mo ang ano. I-switch on natin yung... Uh... Hindi ba kulang tubig ta? Tama na, sir. Ha? Tama na. 1,000 liters? Mm. Okay. 1,2 man ni, sir. Ah, 1,2. One one okay. So, i-on natin to. Unahan na ka, unahan na ka, malupok na ka. Ano. So, makikita nyo ngayon. Uh, even yung uh, distribution ng uh, tubig, no? And uh, dalawa lang munang binuksan natin para malakas yung spray ng tubig at kaya niyang abutin. So, ito yung uh, rain, type, rain type ng uh, na irrigation. And uh, makikita nyo, ang ganda tignan, no? Ang ah, ganda tignan, no? Today, May 27, 2021, uh, we have uh, established this uh, demo farm for uh, upland rice farming using uh, pressurized irrigation. And uh, in the system that uh, we have uh, utilized, ang ginamit natin yung um, rain pipes no? or sumisansui. Yan ang isang pangalan niya. Uh, it's actually uh, a pipe with uh, nano holes. Uh, at doon lumalabas yung tubig na tinutulak ng ating 3 horsepower na pressure pump. So, uh, this will actually uh, mark the start, the beginning of a study. Pwede bang si Upland Rice Farmer, pwede ba siyang magtanim off-season? Uh, pwede ba siyang uh, magtanim after the first harvest? Kasi traditionally, yung ating Upland Rice Farming ay eh, once a year lang. Kaya dinurado, hinumay once a year tinataon lang sa tagulan. Okay? They plant during the rainy season and uh, mag-harvest sila ng uh, bandang August. No? 
August, September, yun, yun yung harvest time. Now with this, since mayroon tayong irrigation system, pwede bang uh, nagtanim tayo ngayon, although late ng konti kasi uh, by uh, next week, June na, no? uh, May 27 ngayon, uh, after uh, say three months and a half, no? so uh, June, July, August, bago mag September, pwede ba tayong matanim ulit? Okay, with this irrigation. And that's what we would like to uh, establish here. So, uh, ito po project ng uh, Braveheart Farms, which is my own farm. Uh, no government funds were used here. But I am uh, aging uh, my agency, the Mindanao Development Authority, to document everything. Sapagkat ang gusto nating uh, mangyari dito, kasama yung field rice, ay maka-establish tayo ng uh, scientific data on whether uh, planting upland rice off-season with the aid of uh, pressurized irrigation, Israeli uh, pressurized irrigation, ay pwede ba natin gawin? So this means a lot for the upland rice farmers of Mindanao. And not only Mindanao, the whole country. Okay? This is it.